Oh no, it's the burb. Don't do it. No, burb. Oh no, the burb's getting in the backpack, isn't it? We're gonna take it to school. What the? We're Mary Poppins now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> This game, it has some weird stuff going on. Half makes me think it's just a dream. But only halfway. Some of this stuff seems plausible, right? Oh, the veterinarian, of course. Are they open now? You got money for this kid. It's gonna cost a lot. Now we need thing. Toilet paper. It's like gold right now. Oh, you know how much it's gonna cost me? Hey, look at this, it's so scarce I can't even find it. You only got one roll? Man. <laughs> So, Burb, stay here. Bye, Burb. Oh, hold on now, Rocky. Or Terrence. That was the one. Confused myself. What the... The burb's gone. Terrence took off with your wild burb unlimited. Terrence, it's not all better yet. It can't fly. That badger is going to come back and do something. Probably pretty bad.
And today, kids, we're learning about this weird animal. Not exactly sure what it's supposed to be. But as you can see, its height and width are of a very specific, specific dimension. No, Burb! Burb, stop it! That's, that's my, oh, we're having fun. Okay, well, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Burb. What? Okay then, have, have it your way. Yes, yeah, splash in the puddles. We gotta beat the burb. No, oh, I can't let you win. No, the bird beat me. Ah. Oh. oh, I see. I can go up or down. Fire! You're gonna run away with it again, Burb. Oh, B Burb! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> well, that bird's gonna get up to mischief, isn't it? I'm sorry, Mrs. Smorgasbord. Uh, you know, what can I say? Oh, burb. Oh boy, here we go. What, you want to do the seesaw, Burb? Oh boy, we're gonna get launched. There we go. <laughs> to the moon. Oh, another paper airplane. Here we go again. What are you gonna do with it this time, Burb? Oh, you're actually bringing it back? Uh, we need some breb. You gonna pay for that, Bobby? There we go.
Is there even a forest to begin with? Is this forest real is my question. Oh, is Burb back in his natural habitat? Was that the badger? Oh, nope, it's a burb. But a different one this time. Hello there, Burb. It's me, Terrence. Let me read this story to you, Burb. It is very important. Oh, Burb, that was a good catch. Making the biggest paper airplane you ever saw with just paper. No paste or glue or anything like that. thing I'm noticing here. There's a big city back there. Forest looks like it's pretty far away. But maybe the school is by the forest. I mean, it's hard to tell. Come on, Burb, help me fold up this airplane. And we'll fly away. Ugh. This is how I fly airplanes, too. I just push them off, and then they float and hover. Have to be an expert paper airplane pilot to really pull that off. And off we go into the night. Oh, we're still flying. And onward they went. Into the mountains, the boy and his burb. They had a wonderful time. Flying along, seeing the sights as they went. Noticing that they needed some sort of shrub, they turned around. 
and flew to find it. It was a beautiful lake they were flying over, and then they found the floating island of Perengar. Where the burb? I saw some friends, and then they flew on to find more of the fuzzy bush. As they flew over the lake, perhaps they were supposed to move on. And this was what they thought, so they attempted it. The burb seemed happy about it this time, and this time they were over the ocean. A island, actually. They once again had to look for the floating island, but they had already seen it, they were just looking around some more. And they found the strange looking nest. The burb got off to say hello to all his burb friends. And so, onward they went again, saying hello once again to people from around the world. This burb was well traveled in his past, so he had many international friends to talk to. The next time, they came to a desert. It had a very nice river and some plateaus. Once again, the burb was looking for his friend's nest when they came to an island with some palm trees. The burb once again said hello to his friends, and onward the boy and his burb went. The next place they came to was a beautiful jungle, somewhere in South America likely. Once again the burb was looking for more of his friends, and once again they were on the floating island. This time there were no trees, just a couple eggs. The burb once again said hello. And a boy and the burb were on their way. Perhaps the burb was looking for his own nest. Perhaps the boy just wanted a friend. As they came to the final island, the burb got off to say, No, this is not my nest. This was, of course, in the mighty Himalayas, or somewhere like that, as the farms behind them were quite high in the mountains. Unfortunately, the burb could not find his home, and so the boy with his burb flew on. So, unfortunately, after a mighty adventure, the boy and his burb returned back to the boy's home. They could not find the burb's nest, but that was okay. Feeling sad, the burb looked over the city wondering where his nest was. But indeed, the bird was beginning to believe that maybe he had been at home all along. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
okay. But we're out of narration time now. Uh, yeah, sure, my desk is just down here in the forest. I guess we're going out. Hello there, Burb. How are you? Oh, I actually had to interact with the door this time. Let's see how, oh boy, we're already there, huh? Uh-oh. Roger, ba 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 ba. Classic. Yep, the boy is definitely a duck. I think he's getting, uh... <laughs> oh. And then the boy came face to face with himself. Excuse me, were you the one who was making the lights flicker earlier? I did not appreciate that. 